Hello fellow beaters. Our project for today is this bracelet. Um, it is made using cubic right angle weave. If you know how to do cubic right angle weave, it's a very um, simple project. It is the first one that I did after I learned to do it. Um, and it's very basic in spite of being quite showy looking, I think. If you don't know how to do cubic right angle weave, there are lots of um, tutorials on YouTube. Just put in cubic right angle weave tutorial um, in the search box and you'll come up with lots of different um, different videos. Now there are several ways that people teach it and I'm, I have to admit it took me a long time to find one that worked for me. Um, there's some great videos out there that talk about floor, wall, ceilings. Um, if that makes sense to you, if you can visualize it, I'm sure that's a fabulous way, but it just did not work for me. Um, and I'd pretty much given up, although every once in a while I'd check back and see if I could find a video that would show it differently. I, I did finally and um, man it just all of a sudden it's like I, I got it. So don't give up. Keep trying different videos till you find one that works for you. And once you've got it, man, you can make just about anything <laughs> out of the cubic right angle weave. Um, so as I said, this is a good first project for after you learn it. Uh, the only difference here is these are 11s and these are 8s. And I have used the clasp, which was very pretty. It's a, a magnetic clasp. And I have used it in this as actually the focal beads. You wear this um, up on top. So um, next up, let's show you what beads you need and we'll get started. What you'll need to make this bracelet is pretty simple. Um, you'll need some number 11 beads. These are metallic precious gold um, Toho beads, but you can use any gold or other color that you like. And then you need a second color. Um, and here I am using transparent crystal clear AB uh, round Toho beads um, in size 8. And then this is my clasp, which will also be the um, kind of the focal point. This is a magnetic clasp, but it's also very attractive, which is why I thought it would be good for this. Um, and it is by Lolly Beads. Um, the only information I have is that it's a crystal gold plated um, magnetic clasp. I think I got these off of Amazon. Um, they have a lot of nice clasps on Amazon, I found. For thread, I'm using Nozu Sunoco. Um, this is in the beige color, which is nice for the, with gold. It, it tends to really disappear, um, and it goes also with the clear ones very well. It doesn't, doesn't show up very much, so that's my choice for this, and a beading needle of your choice. The first thing you're going to do is make about an inch and a quarter of cubic right angle weave using the number eight beads. So after you have whatever you're going, whatever length you're going to make, uh, mine is one and a quarter inches, then you're going to start um, with the number 11 beads. And this is really pretty easy to do. It, it's not too difficult to change sizes of beads when you're doing cubic right angle weave. So here I have my top with the four beads and so I'm going to do the next row just as I did the others except I'm starting out with um, three number 11 beads. So I'm going to I'll do this first row here kind of help you see what it'll look like. my tail out of the way. Okay, so there is the first the first side. Now I'm going to go through the next bead, the second bead of this round. And I'm now going to add on two beads go through the last bead that we just put on and back through the second bead in this round. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm going to go through the third bead in this round. Put on two number 11 beads and I'm going to go through the last bead we just put on and through the third bead in this round. So since you're going to be going from a larger to a smaller bead, you're going to have to um, try and keep your tension, uh, pull your tension tight occasionally. All right, so now I'm going to go do my last bead. So I'm going to go through my fourth bead, and then I'm going to go up through the first bead that we put on in this round. And now I'm going to add on my fourth side, which is just one bead. Go down and then through the fourth bead of the previous round. Up the first bead in this round. All right, now I again have a square on top with four beads. So I'm going to go through those four beads. And then one more time through the first and pull it tight. So that's it. It's really very easy to change size the size, sizes of beads when you're doing cubic right angle weave. So now you've got your first round and you're going to proceed to do um, cubic right angle weave until you have the length you need. And a little word about the length you need. Um, it really depends on, of course, the size of beads that you're using. So here's my magnetic clasp, and I'm going to measure that. And it is about um, one, two, three, four, five eighths. So a little less than one inch. And then I've got an inch and a half here, and I'm going to have a matching inch and a half at um, the other side. So that's three inches. This is almost another inch, so I'm just going to round it and say that's four inches. So that tells you how much more you need. Now I want a, um, say I want a seven inch bracelet. So I have four inches, so I'm going to need three inches of the gold beads before I start doing the clear again. So you need to calculate for yourself what you're, how much you're going to need. Okay, so now I have added on three and a half inches um, of the 11 gold beads. So now I'm going to do the reverse of what we did right here. And I'm going to scale back up to the um, number eight beads. And again, this is pretty easy with um, cubic right angle weave. So I have my four top beads here. So I'm going to add three of the number eight beads. And go through the next bead, the second of the four. Add on two number eight beads. Go through the last bead from our previous step and then through the number two bead. Now I'm going to go through the number three bead. Add on two number eights. Go back through the last bead from the previous step and through the number three bead. Now I am going to go through the number four bead and up through the first bead added in this round. And now I'm going to add on the last bead, go down through the previous bead put on. Oops, try not to lose my needle. 
height. And then back through the last bead from the previous row and up through the first bead of this row. Pull tight. And now I'm going to go through all of the beads on top, all four of them, to link them together. And through one more, cinch it tight. Okay, so now we have this. And now I am going to continue with the number eight beads until I have an inch and a half. Okay, so I have finished um, the second side and I have put on um, the clasp on this side so you can see what that looks like and now I'm going to put it on the second side and show you how that works. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at where I'm coming out. I don't know how well you can see this, but there's one, two, three, the four top sides. We're going to be using all of those for um, securing the clasps and we're also going to go down the sides to secure it more. So to start with I'm going to pick up of the number two of the number 11 beads and now I'm going to take um, and go through the clasp. And you don't have to worry too much at this point about getting it really tight um, because you're going to go through this several times. Now you see I'm coming out of this bead going this way. So I'm now going to pick up another two beads, another of the number 11 beads, and now I'm going to go in the bead that is opposite of that and pull it tight. Okay, like that. Now I am going to go through the next bead. And then that's going to bring me around to that first bead. So I'm going to go through the first bead. And then I'm going to go back up through the number 11s, through the end of the clasp. Now I am doing, I'm pulling on it more to get it tightened up. And now I'm going to go down these two beads. And I'm going to go through the top bead again and through the next top bead. Okay, so at this point, I've gone through it two times, but I don't consider that really secure because it's just being anchored by this the last row of beads here, and that doesn't seem very secure to me. So I'm going to do um, a little more securing, and to do that, I am going to go um, down through, you know, each of the sides has four beads on it. So I'm going to, in turn, take this thread and go down through all of the, the beads, um, the four beads on the sides. And I'm also going to put it through the top one more time. Okay, so now I am going to go, I'm coming out of this bead here, so I'm going to go down. Now I can usually get it through two of those, so there's the side and the bottom. Pull it tight, the other side, and the top. Pull it tight. And now I'm going to go back up through the two beads, the two number 11s, through the clasp, down through the two beads on the side here, and through the top number eight. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go down and go through the square that's on the side here. Um, the bottom, up the other side, and across the top.
and now I'm going to go straight across here coming out here and I'm going to go into the next bead that is on the top I got caught on myself down the side through the bottom up the side and through the top and then I'm going to do this there's just one side I have not um, connected yet not that bad I managed to get caught on myself again Okay, so there's now just one side that I have not reinforced, and that's on the opposite side. So I'm just going to go through the next top row, because I have done that one, and then through the next one, and this is the side that I have not yet done. So I'm going to go through the top bead, down the side, across the bottom, up the side and through the top. So now we have been through um, not only the beads that are on the very top here four times, we've also been down each side. So at this point um, you can just do some knots or half hitches. There's one half hitch, um, and now I'm going to go around in a circle a little bit. Do another half hitch here. Go down. Put in a third half hitch. Okay, and now I'm just going to weave um, the tail in. And as soon as I've done that, I'll come back and um, we'll finish up. All right, so here we have the finished bracelet. Um, and as you can see, this, uh, this fancy magnetic clasp is not only our class but it's also our focal point so um, it turns out uh, quite nicely I think this one making three and a half inches um, of the number 11s and um, an inch and a half of each of the the sides with eights plus the clasp this bracelet is just over seven inches but it's very easy to adjust if your wrist is large or smaller simply by putting um, more more beads in one of these sections so let me show you some other ideas some other things and these actually have been were my first projects that I tried after learning to do cubic right angle weave and I got excited and made a whole bunch of them because they were quite simple here's another one this one has um, silver 11s and then it has silver lined clear um, 8s and then in the very top here, this is these are um, three millimeter fire polish beads, and it all, it all has the same clasp except in silver. Um, here's another one. This one's done with black and bronze beads, and it also has the same kind of clasp, but this is in kind of a a darker uh, bronze color. And these are bronze fire polish, and then there's a focal bead here. And on this one, if you can see, I also um, did some embellishment. I ran, um, uh, I think those are 11s, they might be 15s, but I think they're 11s of bronze beads um, on each side here. After I had finished it, uh, I thought it was a little plain, so I added, added some of the bronze in. And then this is another one that's similar um, design, 
I did it in black and then I embellished it with number 11s. This, this, these must be 15s because I know these are 11s and you can see they they show a lot more. Um, and then I used these pink fire polish um, for these are four millimeter and then I had a focal point that kind of pulls it all together that's black and pink. There are lots more ideas of what you can do um, quite easily. Lay some of these out here. Um, you can change the sizes of the beads that you use. You don't necessarily have to use 11s and 8s. Um, you could put 8s here and 6s here. You can use this at as a focal point or not. You can use um, like here where it's not the focal point and instead I've just done more square stitch, excuse me, cubic right angle weave up here or in these like where I've used a focal, focal bead in the middle for this one and this one. You can do all kinds of um, stitching along the outside just as an embellishment and there probably are lots more ideas that I haven't thought of. These are just a few that I I came up with um, rather quickly. These bracelets do make up quite fast. I don't think it takes much more than an hour to do one. Um, so give them a try and see if you like it. They're quite quite attractive um, in spite of being pretty simple to do and like I said it's a great way to get more experience in doing cubic right angle weave. So thank you again for um, watching another video, and I hope to do one with you again soon.